Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into a world where magic and mystery collide. Picture this, a snow globe shop, its frosted windows hiding vibrant worlds within. Our heroes, Elliot, Nina, and Finn, stand before a wooden door, the air thick with anticipation. Elliot's heart races with a mix of determination and trepidation. Nina clutches her globe tightly, her bright blue eyes wide with excitement and fear. Finn, ever the skeptic, lingers behind, wrestling with shadows of doubt. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Stay tuned as we unravel the secrets hidden within these enchanted globes. Buckle up, because this chapter is going to be a roller coaster ride of emotions and revelations. As the door creaked open, the familiar scent of pine and cinnamon enveloped Elliot, Nina, and Finn. But today it felt different, charged with an electric tension that set their nerves on edge. Behind the counter stood the shopkeeper, his long white beard and twinkling blue eyes betraying nothing of the secrets he harbored. Ah, uh, my young adventurers, back so soon, he greeted, his voice smooth like honey, yet laced with an undercurrent of something darker. Elliot stepped forward, his newfound courage igniting a fire within him. We need to talk about the disappearances, shopkeeper. We know they're connected to the globes. What are you hiding? The words tumbled out, raw and unfiltered, echoing in the stillness of the shop. The shopkeeper's smile faltered, just for a moment, before he regained his composure. Ah, the balance of magic and nature, dear Elliot, it is a delicate dance one that requires sacrifices. The globes are not merely toys. They are gateways to realms that must be preserved. Nina's visions flickered in her mind, images of swirling snow and lost souls. But at what cost? She whispered, her voice trembling. You're using them, aren't you? Finn, feeling the weight of the moment, stepped beside Elliot, his skepticism giving way to a fierce loyalty. We won't let you hurt anyone else. We'll fight for our town, for the people who vanished. The shopkeeper's expression darkened, revealing a glimpse of the man behind the facade. You think you understand? You are but children, playing with forces beyond your comprehension. The magic of winter is not to be trifled with. Elliot felt a surge of defiance. We may be children, but we're not powerless. We face challenges that have changed us. We won't let fear dictate our choices. The air crackled with tension as the shopkeeper's true nature began to unravel, revealing the moral dilemmas that lay before them. Elliot, Nina, and Finn stood united, their resolve tested, ready to confront the darkness that threatened their community. Outside, the snow continued to fall, a soft reminder of the magic at stake. Elliot, Nina, and Finn, united in their resolve, prepared to restore balance to their world. The enchanted globes held secrets and moral dilemmas that tested their courage and determination. But these children were ready to confront the darkness that threatened their community. They had faced challenges that changed them, and they refused to let fear dictate their choices. As the chapter comes to a close, remember, story lovers, the magic of winter is not to be trifled with. Stay tuned for more adventures with our brave heroes. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller four more thrilling tales. Until next time, keep the magic alive.